Hey, hey, in this quick tutorial, we're gonna show how to make closed reading assignments using Magic School AI's informational text generator. Closed reading assignments are, are really actually a powerful, incredible strategy for using with students. So I wanna show you how you can make those in just a few seconds using Magic School AI. Here goes. All right, so from Magic School's landing page, we'll come up here to the top and we're gonna search for informational text. That is the, the generator or the tool that we'll use this time around. I'm gonna open that up and you'll see that we have some some different fields that we can adjust. I think seventh grade works fine here. You can also do literary nonfiction. I believe that's good for this specific example, but I do want to change it from one paragraph to one page. I think one page is what we're shooting for here. Now at the bottom is where we'll type in our prompt that we're going to give Raina. And I'm going to actually use this microphone feature and use voice to text and give that a try. So here it goes. Please write a one page article about the importance of cells and their role inside of organisms. In addition to discussing cells, I'd like to focus on the following organelles and their function. Cell wall, plasma membrane, nucleus, mitochondria, chloroplast, vacuole, Golgi body, and endoplasmic reticulum. All right, I've selected stop recording there and it's brought in my voice to text. I know I have a funny accent, so occasionally it'll, it'll come out a little off, but this actually works pretty good. I like what I see. Awesome, I'm gonna click generate and let's see what happens. All right, it is writing this beautiful article for us as we speak. I didn't do anything, it's cranking it out. Speed reading, but I think, yep, everything's kind of right where I need it to be, awesome. So now that I have the article, I'm gonna give it a new prompt that will actually turn this article into the closed reading assignment. And so for that, I'm gonna say, please rewrite this article in the form of a closed reading passage or closed reading assignment. I want my students to fill in the blanks for important vocabulary words, right? I also want it to ask it to move the vocabulary words to the bottom just in an organized chart or table so that my students can kind of keep track or, or keep tally and mark those off as they as they fill in the blanks throughout the closed reading of passage. So here we go. I click generate and voila, there it comes. Now notice that it's got some ones, some twos, some threes, some fours, some fives. I didn't really give it clear instructions, did I? I just said make a closed reading assignment and it did a pretty good job, but I'm gonna give it a new prompt now, another step. I'm not gonna break it. What I'm gonna do now is just say, instead of having the numbers, please rewrite this so that there are fill in the blank opportunities for my students. And just notice here that I'm gonna put a parenthesis with some underlined spots so that uh, there's an area for my students to either type in that vocabulary word or write it in if I decide to print these and use it in that capacity. So I'm gonna click enter and there it goes it is generating this for me. Instead of me having to write this myself and, and do all this, it is cranking it out. I love it, I love it. Now, that we are done, I like what I see. I, I'm missing the table now. So I'm just gonna go back and say, hey Raina, please give me that table. It'll drop that at the bottom for me. All right, there's that prompt and here it comes. And let's just see, there's that table, perfect. Now what I wanna show you too is from here, now that we've created this great closed reading assignment, I've got some options. I can copy this and move it somewhere. I can click export, go to a Google Doc, go to Microsoft Word, or just print straight from here. If you go ahead and click on one of these options, you'll see a new window opens up um, and then you can click that export button if you're ready to do that. So now on the topic of closed reading passages, I did want to give a few reasons why these are excellent to use in your classroom. The first is that they're of course backed by research. There's a, there's a body of research that shows these are effective with developing reading skills. Um, they're proven to enhance reading, comp uh, reading comprehension as well as develop the academic vocabulary. So if you're a science teacher, but you're wanting to work in some reading skills, this is a great way to do it. Another one is while students are reading closed reading passages, their critical thinking skills are being challenged and developed and built upon. And then last but not least, this is just a great way to boost confidence for your reader. So I think that's always good across the board. All right, all right. I hope this resource, this tutorial has been helpful for you and you feel empowered to create closed reading assignments using Magic School AI.